55.5. It's how excited they were to see us every time we came in the classroom. Um, I guess I kind of forgot what it was like to be in a in an elementary school classroom, um, to be with the teacher all day, and then to have someone from the outside come in and uh, kind of share with you. So the kids were always excited, and that kind of surprised me. Um, also, it surprised me how receptive they were to the things that we shared with them. Uh, they always seemed just extremely happy to listen to what we had to tell them. Um, they seemed to absorb it. Anything that they didn't understand, they made sure that they asked us enough questions that uh, until they could understand it. So it was surprising uh, how little uh, discussion of anything other than math went on when we were in the classroom. They they were really focused and really interested in learning. It was exciting every time. Every time we went, it was very exciting. Fifty-five point five. We always came back to the office refreshed and feeling like we had energy for the day. Uh, it, the, the kids' energy kind of spilled over to us and uh, gave us energy to go on with our days when we came back to work. Uh, and Mr. Wilborn took time out at the end of our, uh, of our mentoring session, read off the scores to us. They ranked in the top percentiles in math uh, across the board. They were assessed at some of them high school level, some of them post high school level. We actually were thinking of doing a contest with our employees to do, are you smarter than a fifth grade student? <laughs> and when everyone knew that we were having you all in and how well you had done on your math test, nobody wanted to participate. So unfortunately, <laughs> you have to listen to me for the next 10 minutes. I definitely think it's beneficial to the students. Again, the standardized test scores are quantifiable is a quantifiable way of uh, showing that the program is beneficial. The classroom did the best in the whole school uh, that, as far as their percentiles. What type of jobs do you think you want to have when you get older? An architect. An architect, wow. Clothing line. Like a clothing line? Okay. Something dealing with math, like, like being an actuary? <laughs> <laughs> That's a basic equation. And all I, I do remember when I was in elementary school and high school having outsiders come in and uh, do kind of similar programs, whether it was junior achievement or student teachers and that kind of thing. And I remember how exciting it was to have people other than our regular teachers come in and, and share with us. But I think the expectations of us was not to go in the classroom and be their teacher but it was to be who we were and share what we do uh, on a daily basis and help them with a subject that we know well as actuaries, which is math. I hope that they uh, improve their proficiency in math. I hope that it changed their attitude about math. I hope they are excited about math, not afraid of math like uh, a lot of people are. A lot of people have a stigma. Uh, math kind of has a stigma in a lot of people's minds that uh, something that's difficult or impossible to conquer. Uh, hope we can go on, you know, as long as possible. If I were ever unable to do it because of work obligations or something like that, that I would hope that uh, somebody would continue to lead the program and keep it going. So. A typical house has 2,500 square feet. We'd like to say thank you, especially to the boss for allowing your employees to come and spend time with us, which has been very valuable. We have been very, very successful on our staff routine and our tax score. This year, 99%. Previous years, it's been anywhere like 90%. Uh, majority of the students on the staff routine, thank you.